Hey guys, my name is Britt Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to show you guys my bookshelves. So I recently just redid my two main bookshelves that have all my red books on it. And I think I'm just going to show you guys my YA and adult collection. I'm not going to show you my cookbooks at the bottom or my classic shelves. I'm just going to show you the shelves with all my YA reads because I just did a update all the books I need to read. So why not do an update bookshelf tour? So guys, here's my three bookshelves in my office. They are almost like slam packed full of stuff. Sorry about the peace lily right here. I just like that little greenery in the corner and it's a little like plant so it does great there. But I will slowly pan back up for you guys. So starting off at the top this shelf right here is my TBR books, so let's just look away from that. If you guys want to see that video, I'll link it up in the cards. But I have some pictures up here. I have a picture of an orchid. I'm obsessed with Wonder Woman. I actually took this photo at Wayne Creek State Park. It's a local state park here in Alabama. I'm obsessed with elephants. So when I saw this on Pinterest, I just had to print it out and put that up there on my shelves and then I have this wonderful like collage picture of me and my cousins going kayaking because I'm a big kayaker then again I'm obsessed with eagles and here's an eagle picture that I actually took in Yellowstone or I think I was in Yellowstone when I took this photo and again I'm obsessed with elephants another picture that I saw that I had to have now guys remember everything that I'm about to show you I have read none of these books are TBR books they're everything that I have read so starting out we had the Grisha trilogy with Shadow and Bone Siege and Storm and Rune and Rising all by Lee Bardugo Wonder Woman also by Lee Bardugo The Cruel Prince and The Wicked King by Holly Black The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black I think it's Scythe and Ironside by Holly Black The Wicked Deep by Shay Aaron Shaw Gunslinger Girl by Lindsay Ellie Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lou Then we have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and A Night Me by Tahara Mafi. Then I had the novella bind up Unite Me. This has Destroy Me and Fracture Me. Also by Tahara Mafi is the bind up. You have Ruined, Avenged, and Allied by Amy Tentira. A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kammermar. The Last Nim Sorrow by Christian. Not going to say that last thing because I butcher it every time. An Enchantment of Rainbows by Margaret Rogerson. I do have a little group that I got as a Christmas present. A Court of Thorns and Roses. A Court of Mist and Fury. And also have like a little bookmark. A Court of Wings and Ruin. These all three are by Sarah J Mass, And I also have another little bookmark. A Court of Frost and Starlight. Assassin's Blade. Throne of Glass. Crown of Midnight. Air of Fire. Queen of Shadows. Emperor of Storms. Tower of Dawn. And of course, Kingdom of Ash. All by Sarah J Mass. Catwoman, Soul Stiller by Sarah J. Mass, The City of Brass, and The Kingdom of Copper, both by S.H.R. Brolchi. I, I butchered this last name every single time. I try so hard. Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. So we have Graceling, Bitter Blue, and Fire, all by Kristen Cajor. The Girl at Midnight and The Shadow Hour, both by Melissa Gray. Frostblood by Ellie Blake. Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake. Roar by Cora Carmack. The Novice by Taryn Matholiu. And Trial by Fire by Josephine Ageline. Between the Blade and the Heart by Amanda Hawking. Hunter by Mercedes Lackey. Talion by Julie Kagawa. The Trader's Game by Jennifer A. Nielsen. The three first books in the Dead Witch Walking series, which is Dead Witch Walking, The Good, The Bad, and The Undead, Every Which Way But Dead, all by Kim Harrison. Then I have a little Jon Snow Funko Pop. And unfortunately, I only have one book, Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. This one, they first really came out. This book is so old. I have pretty much torn it to pieces reading it over and over. But then I have Dark Fever and Blood Fever, both by Karen Marie Moaning. I have Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight, Dreamer of Gods and Monsters, 
all three by Lanny Taylor. Then I have all the Falling Kingdoms, starting with Falling Kingdoms, Rebel Spring, Gathering Darkness, Frozen Tides, Crystal Storm, and Immortal Rain, all by Morgan Rhodes. I have the Special Edition, Collector's Edition, I guess, of City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Then City of Bones, City of Ash. Yes, I unfortunately don't have the dust jacket to this anymore. I am looking either for a dust jacket or for a another edition so I can trade this to the library. City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and another edition of City of Heavenly Fire that I do not have the dust jacket for. Another edition that I will be looking out for on the cheap hardback edition with the dust jacket. Okay guys, we're actually gonna go down one level to the third shelf on this bookshelf. And we're gonna start the shelf off with The Winner's Curse, The Winner's Crime, and The Winner's Kiss. I think that I did all that backwards, but you guys know Marie Wyskowski. Then one of my new favorite authors is Jennifer L. Armentrout. So we gotta start off with White Hot Kiss, Every Last Breath, and Stone Cold Touch by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I also own her Obsidian series, Obsidian, Onyx, Opal, Origin, Opposition, all by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And again, guys, like I just said, I love Jennifer L. Armentrout, so I have all her Half-Blood series that I have read, starting with Half-Blood, Pure, Dinity, Apollon, and Sentiel, all by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Then we have Sweet Evil, Sweet Reckoning, Sweet Peril, and Sweet Temptation, all by Wendy Higgins. Lament by Maggie Steve Otter, starting with The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue, and ending with The Raven King, all by Maggie Steve Otter. Then we have First Test, Paige, Squire, and Lady Night, all by Tamora Pierce. Frostfire, Ice Kissed, Crystal Kingdom, all by Amanda Hawking. Then I have Ink Death by Cornelia Funk. The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. Unfortunately, this is the only one I have in that series and one of the first books that really got me into reading and I need all of them. And of course I have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn all by Stephanie Meyer. Then The Host by Stephanie Meyer. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay, all by Susan Collins. Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, all by Veronica Roth. I have all the Harry Potter so let's not go over that. Then I have the Crimes of Gwendawal by J.K. Rowling, Rebel of Sands, Traitor to the Throne, and Hero at the Fall, all by Alwyn Hamilton. Two little photo albums, I'm not going to show you guys what's in them, because that's personal. On Daenerys on Drawgon, I, 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 I love this little Funko Pop. But yeah, she sits right here on this. Then one shelf down, I do have Wicked Woods. This is by Kaylin Gow. I actually own all of these, and she's not a well-known author. I bought... The first one at a convention, and it does have where, like, she personalized and signed it to me. Even though she misspelled my name, it's okay. It was very, very crowded, and I I absolutely love this. So, these, this one's called Wicked Woods, Shimmer, Silver, Silent, Sight, and Shifter. Then I have Marked, Betrayal, Chosen, Untamed, Hunted, Tempered, Awaken, and Hidden. All by PC Cast and Christian Cast. I think I'm only missing one out of this series now. One of my all-time favorite series is Maximum Ride by James Patterson. And I do own all the Maximum Ride books. So I'm not going to go over those. But I also have Evermore, Blue Moon, Shadowland, and Everlasting all by Allison Knoll. Then I have Swept, the Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, and Volume 5. Then below that shelf, it's just a lot of my Christmas and like Halloween themed and like kid books from when I was younger so I'm not gonna go over that if you guys want to see that video please let me know and I will go over that shelf then the one next to it I have classic shelf like Pride and Prejudice the Great Gatsby things like that so again if you guys want to see the classic shelf please let me know I'll do a whole separate video so guys we only have one more shelf to do I have Eldest and Bringser these are all by Christopher Poloni, Hush Hush, Crescendo, Silence, and Finale all by Becca Fitzpatrick. Blue Bloods, Masquerade, Reservations, The Van Allen Legacy, Misguided Angel, Lost in Time all by Melissa De La Cruz, Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, Population by Elizabeth Stevens, and this is also a signed copy, Paper Princess by Aaron Watt. I have read this entire series. I only own the first one, though. I read all the other ones on ebook. Then I have King of Mist by Jordan River. This is the second book in her Still in Fire series. Guys, we're almost done, I promise. Then we have Black Widow by Margaret Stoll. Frozen Fire by 
by Tim Bowler. Phil by David Clement Davids. Last four book guys. Last four. We have Ink Exchange for Eternity, Radiant Shadows, and Darkest Mercy all by Melissa Marr. Okay guys, I think that's going to be it for my book tour. If you want to see any of those other videos, please let me know down in the description. Please let me know if you have any of book, these books, read all these books. I have read a lot of books and I actually don't own everything that I've read. So guys, I think that's going to be it for my bookshelf tour. I've actually read a lot of books and I don't physically own everything. I only own things that I know that maybe one day I want to reread again or their classics like Twilight that really got me into reading or some of the other things that I grew up with. But guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing everybody soon in my next video. Bye!